made it with our generator. All right, let's get this thing unloaded. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Frustrated by the nine to five, we set out to make a living making things. Through your incredible support, we've been able to bring you along for the ride, and we can't wait to share our next chapter with you. Say hello to 20 acres of raw, off-grid land in Northern Idaho. I'm sure you guys have noticed we've been driving around for a few months with something kind of missing. <laughs> Big gaping holes. But today is finally the day our Baja Designs lights have arrived and we are going to get them installed just in time for the trade show. And we are at our favorite place to install stuff, the Harbor Freight parking lot, because if you need something, you just run in. So Riley's already gone in twice for some heat shrink and some pliers, and I think we have everything to get started. I think it's super cool that they also include the male end of the electrical connector so that we don't have to splice and butt connect the harness together. Um, that's going to be really handy. This is the new product from Buckstop, this grill guard that holds the light bar and they custom made this one for this Baja Designs light and that's going to look awesome. You guys, I caught Riley reading the instructions again. <laughs> I was checking the assembly diagram, not reading the instructions. <laughs> it's more of a forehands job. Stand by. So to make wiring all the lights easier, we picked up this controller. I've never tried one of these before, but it seemed like it would make the install super easy. The switch panel is actually wireless, so we don't have to run any of the, we don't have to run any wires into the truck. It also has an app so we can control the lights from our phone. It's pretty high tech. I'm excited about the app because it means if we're in the camper and we hear a noise at night, we can just hit a button on our phone and light up camp. Welcome back to the parking lot. This time it's a Staples, not quite as handy as a Home Depot or a, or a Harbor Freight. I am working on installing that trigger system. Finally found a good spot to put it. This hood, there is just not a lot of space, but right back here I found a spot where I'm gonna be able to mount it nice and out of the way and the cables are gonna reach everywhere I need them to go. There are two ways you can install it. This yellow wire can either go straight to the battery, which leaves the trigger on all the time, or it can go to ignition power, so whenever you turn the key off, the trigger turns off and anything hooked to it will also turn off. We're gonna hook the yellow wire straight to the battery so that we can turn the lights on and off from inside the camper, even if the truck's off. I never know if it's a good sign that he's talking to himself or a bad one. In this case, it's a good sign. Things are uh, working out pretty well over here. While Riley finishes installing the trigger controller, I'm gonna go download the app so that I can control the lights from our tablet and our phones. It says connecting, how long do I wait? 
Interior comes with six accessory cables already pre-terminated to plug right into it. All I have to do is hook the Baja Designs connector on the other end and plug in the light bar and we're done. I do not have my weather pack crimp tool with me for crimping these little guys, so I'm gonna do my best and see what happens. Also a way to manually turn them on at the controller, so Riley's gonna hit the button. I Do I need to like close my eyes? Definitely keep those sunglasses on. You ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Why did you look at it? Heck yeah! We have a light bar! I played with the app some more and I think I got it figured out. Should we find out? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo! That's low. Oh, strobe. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a super cool... Right there. Look. The crew from Buckstop just arrived at the show and they brought with them the brackets we need to finish the install of our lights. But we're getting it. Oops. <laughs> All right, last one. We finally got the brackets figured out. a little more last minute install. We are installing a product that I found about when I borrowed Hellwig's Ranger and it is the coolest thing ever. These are the Bushwhacker rocker sill protectors and it's just a plastic piece that wraps around the bottom of the rocker and up into the door sill right here. And they're awesome, they're lightweight, they keep the door sill protected and they block the rocker from rocks and sticks and stuff. It's a super easy install on these things. It's just VHB tape, you clean the door sills and you stick them on. No tools, no drilling, and a perfect fit. The way that this light bar came configured from Baja Designs, all three were spot. And so what I'm doing is switching out on the two sides, the spot lens for a flood lens. So you can see the spot one is completely clear. And then the flood one has got some ridges in it to help distribute the light. Our thinking is we're never gonna go fast enough to need a lot of spotlights super far out and that a wider, more dispersed light would be better. We'll see. It's really cool that Baja Designs has these different lenses because all, you just order one light bar and then you can make tweaks and change things as you go to configure it for your setup and your intended use. Just leaving the show and there are a bunch of cool rigs on the parking lot too. Courtney's staying back with the camper, but I gotta go back to the hotel and check on the dogs. Hopefully I don't get run over on the streets of Salt Lake. Come on guys, get in the elevator. Let's go, let up, come on. The door opened so we got out. This is not the lobby. <laughs> we'll try this again. Did you get lost? How'd you know? How did I know? They <laughs> knew you got lost too. <laughs> 
scooters, I've been told. We're getting our friends, the Mortels, but they're four miles away, so we're gonna take scooters. Try a scooter. It is very difficult to film while scootering. Adventure Expo. We didn't film nearly enough. We were way too busy talking, meeting people and having fun. All of you that stopped by to say hi, it was so great to meet you and we look forward to next time we see you. We are headed home a different way than we came to the event because we have a stop to make. Stay tuned for a stop tomorrow. Well, we chose this Beautiful 107 degree day to pick up a U-Haul trailer. And next up a generator. John reached out on our YouTube channel, said he had the perfect generator for our property and it turns out he did. So we're here picking it up. I'm used to the heat, but it's hot. <laughs> The tires don't even look that mad. Are those appropriately sized straps? No, we should have bought bigger straps, but. We chose the hottest day of the year to buy a generator. It is 113. Thanks again, John and Donna. And uh, we just picked up a spare tire for the trailer for the ride home, and it's time to get out of here. What was it? It's the trailer dragging. Oh boy. <laughs> Took us two and a half hours to get here and it's gonna take another half an hour to get to our property. Stop, stop! I was like, there's no way this one rock is gonna be in the way. And then guess what you did? Ran it over. We made it with our generator and we just hit 70,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching our channel. It blows my mind. Hold on, you guys need to see the view. We are here with an army truck and an excavator. It's been this way. And a generator and this. I, <laughs> All you, our stuff's here now. If you'd told me a year ago this is where we'd be standing, I would not have believed you. It's been a long path getting here and it's been a fun ride. And Courtney, thank you so much for the constant support and encouragement. I think we're crazy. I know we're crazy. All right, let's get this thing unloaded. We're gonna figure out where to put it tomorrow. We are tired, we are hungry, 